This, this, this is a Tape Deck Podcast. Hey, this is Melissa, a.k.a. Snarky Snacker, coming to you live from the Princess Half Marathon weekend. And this is the Will Run For Podcast. Good morning from the start line of the Walt Disney World Princess Weekend 10K. Uh, yeah, just here to cheer. I forgot the sign because I suck at life. <laughs> I was so concentrated on um, Linda's mirror and making sure she had all of her stuff for her costume that I forgot the sign. But I'm standing here with Steph Sorensen, who just um, doodled me. Um, I'm going to go ahead and post that on our Instagram stories at some point. Hi, Steph. Good morning. Good morning. Um, Steph doodles. Um, and she has this challenge where every morning she's been doodling for um, five minutes is the challenge, right? She challenged herself to doodle me and Nikki. Um, Nikki Diz. <laughs> I'm like, I don't remember. I am never going to. Listen, everyone knows that I don't do well with Instagram handles. Like, this is an, uh, a known thing in the Will Run For community. <laughs> so, good morning. How are, how are you doing? I'm doing well, Erin. Thank you so much. I'm so flattered you're interviewing me. <laughs> <laughs> I just wanted to thank you so much for our doodle. Um, so, you doodle for donations, correct? Who are you do- doodling for right now? Um, for St. Jude. I'm running the London Marathon in April. Um, I need to raise $10,000 um, in, well, within seven weeks now. And I think I'm at less than 2000 oh, that I God. need. I'm at 8000 raised. Okay, okay, yeah. okay. That was yeah. <laughs> That's fine. Um, I'm going to post our doodle that she just did of me in five minutes. Yep. She has a challenge where she is doing each morning. She picked somebody new. She did two of us this today. <laughs> she was like, I don't know if I'm going to be able to do it, but she did it. And so I'm super excited, and I will post that on our Instagram. You're so sweet. You're so sweet. Thank you so much. Thank you. Nikki doesn't want to be interviewed, but I'm going to come over here to Melissa, who is a uh, man on the street. Is that what we decided? Uh, snark Woman? on the street. Snark, snark on the street, the street yeah. is where, where we're going with this sure. one. How's Princess Weekend going for you? Uh, pretty good, Aaron. Pretty good. Yeah. You having fun? <laughs> no. <laughs> Not even a little bit. What do you? What, what was your costume yesterday? Oh my God! What was my costume yesterday? <laughs> wow! This is such a great interview. I'm excited about what? Oh, no. oh my God! Yeah, I was one of the. I, dude, I'm very tired, as you can see. I was one of the princesses dressed in the theme of Jasmine, but I was Elsa, and I had a cape, and I spun around, and it was fabulous. <laughs> How was the expo this time around, guys? Anybody? Anybody? Um, expo was lines on lines on lines this year. Um, it, everything had a line. So um, for those who invest in Club Run Disney, they were happy. But the rest of us just waited in a whole bunch of lines, and expo seemed to take a really long time this year. Was it worse than Marathon Weekend? Uh, I did not have to participate in that it much worse. of it. But Hold on. I got Dana saying something. It was not worse the marathon weekend we didn't wait nearly as long for our bibs and the, um, you'd have to wait to go in like to the merch like you did it or not the merch like the, the expo expo okay okay all right since i wasn't here for the expo i thought we'd get a little insider information and uh i'll be out there cheering on well actually at the finish line so uh i'll check in along the way snark on the street might take uh the, the mic later on though i might have her walk around and interview some people later all right See you later. I'm back. I did a really bad job of recording today, but I just found Ryan, who is dressed as the Wide World of Sports uh, Beer Cup. Uh, and so I just stopped to chat with him, and I was asking him what kind of characters were out there on the 10K course today. Uh, well, they had a but like I felt like for the 10K, it was a pretty good amount of characters. We only stopped for three, though. Um, we stopped for Pocahontas, uh, Anna and Elsa, and then um, Aladdin, Genie, and Jasmine were out just in inside just before. Epcot, so. Well, how are the lines for them compared to Marathon Weekend? Because the 5K yesterday, it seemed like you guys got a lot of characters, and it seems like the lines were a lot shorter. Yeah, lines were better than yesterday, for sure. Um, I think Anna and Elsa was longest. That was maybe 15 minutes, so okay. not awful, but... Yeah. 
Not bad, not bad. Um, how are you feeling about tomorrow's race? It's going to be warm. I have my costume has already gone through th- some modifications. It's probably going to go through some more, so <laughs> we'll see. <laughs> well, good luck out there tomorrow, Ryan. <laughs> I am walking right now with uh, Greg in Orlando, who hey. cheered the race with me. How was, uh, how was your cheer experience? Well, you know, I'm running on like two hours of sleep and some dreams. But uh, we're out here. We had a great time. Uh, great weather for the runners. And uh, there's nothing like a Disney finish line. I agree. We watched the last finishers uh, come through. And uh, just like always, I cried about... I don't know, four or five times today, uh, which seems low for me for uh, a Disney race and or a finish line. So we will check in in a little bit once I get some alcohol in me and see uh, some people. I'm going to go talk. No, you're not. You're going to talk to me right now. Look, I'm I'm forcibly making Michelle K talk to me on a recorder. <laughs> she was like, I'm gonna go talk to somebody. I'm like, no, you're gonna talk into this speaker right no, now. I was gonna talk them in the leaving so we can go eat food. I'm hungry. <laughs> there's no food here. Like there's these gross pretzels and then donut holes that are not looking good. The donut place wasn't open when I finished. Well that's because you finished in the dark, right? No, no. I took pictures. Oh, you took pictures. Oh, I took pictures. And I'm getting yelled at by my coach. Well, she's trying, trying to show me pictures for a for a digital yeah, see, like look, voice podcast. Describe the pictures. Describe the pictures. I'm supposed to describe this picture for the people. Um, I can't even see it because of the weird reflection. This is the royal detective. Oh, it's the royal detective. I cannot. See. I don't know who that is. I don't know who that is. Wait, Maybe that's part of my problem of like why I'm looking at this and I can't see. Wait, Shailene, do you know who the royal detective is? Oh, that's not the royal detective. No, this is Fancy Nancy. Yes, that's Fancy Nancy. The I have previous. no idea who the royal detective is. I saw her. Oh, I, I was told. Lyra, Mira. There you go. Did, this was the Disney Junior race. Oh. Every character. It was all Disney Junior. All right. This time I'm not going to cut you off, Shailene. Oh. You're going, like this time, when I hit the record button, just double checked. It's recording. How was your race? Great. So much fun. The sun stayed behind the clouds the whole time because the sun and I don't agree. We're not friends. So. It was, yeah, it was super foggy. We watched the fog roll in. It was really strange. I was standing in Magic Kingdom, and it was like out of nowhere, this fog just descended upon the entire it kingdom. Felt, it felt like running through a mister. It was wonderful. It kept it cool, kept the sun away. Perfect. And right now it's burned off, and now it's getting hot. It's hot. Yeah. So I'm glad we're done. <laughs> All right. That's that's live from uh, Shailene and Me- uh, I almost called you Megan. I don't know your name, Michelle. All right. <laughs> I'm out. I have Brittany here with me now. Brittany's like, uh-oh, because I'm about to stick a mic in her face. How was your races this weekend? It was wonderful. Went by too quick. Too quick. But I enjoyed it and had fun and stopped for all the characters I wanted to. And I loved the weekend. What characters were out there for you? Well, I finally got Jeannie today. Yesterday, I was in line, and two people in front of me, they swapped him out for Aladdin. Oh, no. (laughs) Terrible. That's my main one for today. Was Jeannie. I heard there were some weird characters out there today. Do you know who... Oh, I forget the, her name now. She was like, she looked like a Disney, uh, she had like a, a big old bobblehead. Fancy Nancy. No, there was one after Fancy Nancy. She had like a dark, why am I blanking on what Michelle just told me her name was? Michelle Kay's going to like listen to this now and be like, what are you talking about? I did see her. I didn't know who she was. Okay, no one seems to know who this character is, people. So I, I just went straight on past. Okay. It sounds like this. Uh, we will solve this mystery another day. <laughs> Sorry, I'm no help there, Aaron. Can't help. All right, we're gonna we're gonna go try and Google this and figure this out, and I will be back. Yeah. All right, I have solved the mystery of who this person is, and now I'm going to ask questions. Who is Mira, the detective? She's on Disney Junior. I very easily solved this mystery. Does she have a show? I think so. 
<laughs> Linda is, is being very shy for this podcast right now. <laughs> She's like a woman of two words. I actually don't know the answer. I don't know the answer. <laughs> have you ever seen Mira the detective? No, I have not. Did you know who Mira the detective is when you saw her? That I did. Okay. So did you stop for her? I did not. Okay. Okay. People have been asking. Like, I've gotten like five or six people who are like, does anybody know who this was? And immediately, the first person I asked knew. I'm impressed. Linda, how was your race? Uh, it was good. It didn't get hot till the very end, so that was a plus. And we beat the balloon ladies by like a half an hour. Nice, nice. Did you have fun? We had a blast. And what were you today? We were a group of princesses as Girl Scouts. So I was Princess Anna from Troop 131. Did you just make up 131, or does that have an actual significance to um, uh, Frozen? Uh, nothing to Frozen, but we went with the 13.1. Oh, why did I, I did not connect that together. <laughs> not even a little bit. All right, I'm done. I'm out. From Princess, we out. <laughs> I lied about being done at Disney. <laughs> I have Ryan who runs Disney with me. And uh, I have a question for you. Do you know who Mira is? Yes. No, I mean, I'm like, I don't watch her, but I know who she is. So you knew before you saw her on course today who she was? Yes. Interesting. Because everyone else was like, who the <laughs> is this person? There was, uh, I think, what, Fancy Nancy? What, that, I didn't know who that one was, but oh. I, I knew who Mira was. That was another one. That was There was no, we literally walked right up to that one, and there was no line. Nobody knew because nobody knows who Fancy Nancy is? <laughs> How was your race overall? Did you get done before the sun? Not before the sun, but pretty close. I mean, it was it was foggy when we were finishing, and it was. I mean, my my Maui costume was a lot. I'm glad I cut off the legs because I had a full body suit before, and I just did the shirt instead. Okay, okay. The uh, fog, I feel like, is what everyone's saying, kind of helped uh, save their races. How do you feel about that? Definitely, definitely. Yeah, that was it. Kept it kept temperature down for a little bit. Now, like now, if we were running right now, it would be bad. But thankfully, it stayed down. So yeah, it's, it's hot right now. Well, thank you for uh, letting me interview you twice. I did a really bad job of interviewing you, so or of interviewing people in general. So um, the fact that you're on here twice, probably out of like only <laughs> six people interviewed. <laughs> we get to hear from Ryan a lot, guys. Hey, I mean, there, I, there's probably worse things in the world, so. Th there are. I agree. I agree. All right. Thanks, guys. I'm here with Kelly, Chapper Girl. How was your races? Uh, my races were good. Uh, I did stop today early in the half marathon okay. as I recover from my stress fracture. How far did you get? I only got to the mile and a half mark before I felt a sharp pain and decided I needed to pull to the side. Ooh, good call. Apparently, I had not talked to Kelly before I started this <laughs> because we we're going to Topolino together. So I figured I would just talk to her there. And now I'm kind of putting her on the spot That's with this, right. uh, listen, this recording. Listen to your doctors and pull over when they tell you to if you're recovering from an injury. It's very important. And we all know that I have been injured, so I concur with that um, that advice. I'm going to, that's what I was just looking. I'm trying to find my bus. I'm going all the way to one. Oh, gosh. I'm all the way over there. Bye. All right. And that concludes the parking lot part of Princess Weekend. Maybe I'll be back from a park um, after I've been drinking for a little while. Or maybe I won't. We'll see what happens. Hey, Snarky Snacker with an interview with... Sarah. Sarah runs away. Hey. Hello. What was your favorite run this weekend? Probably the 5K. Why is that? I think I liked my costume the best at the 5K because it was the easiest. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And what were you for the 5K? I was, I don't know, what was I, a travel agent, <laughs> I guess? I don't know. I had a Visit Agrabah shirt on. It worked. <laughs> She's going to plug her travel agency, Park and oh, Preston, right oh, now. Yeah. I'm going to plug it for her. I'm plugging it for her. Yes. And to clarify from a long time ago, or maybe in the future, I was a Princess Jasmine slash Elsa, and I had a cape, and it was delightful. Yep, that's me taking over from Sarah's interview. <laughs> Snarky Snacker here again with Erin from the Will Run For podcast. Erin, how was cheering this morning? 
It was phenomenal. It's my favorite thing to do. We all know how much I love to cheer every race in the entire world. Um, there was a lot of crying. No one will be surprised by this. Was it by you or other people? Um, me and other people <laughs> because watching other people cry is what triggers me to cry. That's like the vomit reflex in some people. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Were there any logistical issues this morning getting from the start to Magic Kingdom? Actually, no. It ran very smoothly. Was able to get right on the monorail, came right into the monorail, came right into Magic Kingdom. We secured our spot immediately. Um, got immediately told that we needed to move over <laughs> because we were not allowed to be where we were. And so we moved over and then the entire crowd filled into the place where we were not allowed to be. Sounds about right. And did you take the sign? Do you have the sign still? I do have the sign. I did not lose the sign, unlike some people from this podcast. Ooh, and we're going to end on that. Hey, on this section of Snark on the Street, we're talking to Megan, a.k.a. Beach. You got to help me out. Beach Runner 78. Hey, guys. Hey, so how was your princess weekend? I cheered. It was fantastic. Excellent. And did you do anything at the expo? Um, I worked with skirt sports and had a fantastic time on Saturday. Fabulous. What was your favorite part of this weekend? Um, as usual, cheering for the half marathon and seeing all my friends and getting asked by everybody. Do you know everybody here? No, only two thirds. (laughs) I got nothing to say after that. Oh, no. You've been out snort. Pork roll or Taylor ham? No. Taylor ham is no. It's a pork roll. That's that's the answer. Thank you. <laughs> I defaulted to New Jersey. But ah. it's but but it's Taylor ham. And it's never scrapple. No. Hello friends. It is late evening on Sunday and I am just wrapping up uh, a wonderful princess half marathon weekend. Um, It's been a great weekend with friends, seeing uh, listeners, seeing people, eating great food. And I just wanted to thank you for joining me on my journey. And uh, I hope that my voice is a little bit better tomorrow because right now it's feeling a little rough. But um, yeah, just wanted to say thank you for coming on my journey. We will talk to you guys soon. Have a great week.